We've got here uh, an erosion tray apparatus and we're basically trying to show what's happening between here. We've got a tray which has got bare soil and we find this in so many fields, uh, especially here in Malawi where there's absolutely no cover whatsoever, apart maybe from the crop that might be growing at that particular time. And over here we have dead plant material which we call mulch and that's covering this tray. And then over here we've got lawn but this is just representing any green uh, plant material that is covering the soil and this is what you would find either with a full crop canopy that is growing in a certain situation or just uh, in a well vegetated uh, area which has not been disturbed. On each tray we have a funnel which basically directs water out of here which is running off from the surface and then down at the bottom of the tray we have a spout and basically that will uh, direct any water that happens to grow right through the profile and get down to this level it'll come out through this particular spout. So now we're going to start running water. We've got shower heads but this is basically to simulate rainfall as it falls on these three surfaces. And we're just going to run these uh, showers and we're just going to watch what happens and I'll explain as we go along uh, what is happening. Already we can see that this water here is running very fast over the surface and it's making its way down. So straight away we see that there is water coming out from the funnel and we notice that it is mixed with a lot of soil. If you look at that you can see that it's red. It's a lot of soil that is mixed in with that water as it comes through. This part is already getting dug out and eroded. The water is coming down very fast and already this particular container which is about a liter in, in size is already filling up and we'll count out how many of these fill out. We have already filled up one bucket so that's one liter and there is the soil that has been collected from that. So far nothing has happened on this side. Uh, with this particular one the water is just sinking in, is just soaking in, nothing's happening. There's no water running off, there's no water through these particular spouts. So we've already had two liters come out of here and again there's the amount of soil that was collected at the same time. Okay, we now have water coming through this spout here. And just to simplify issues, I've just had one container. So we've got runoff coming from the mulch tray. But notice the main difference between this one and that one is, look at how clean that water is compared to that. And now we've got a tiny trickle of water coming down from this one. If I do this you'll see there's no water coming from the spout, it's all coming from the top. The same over here, all the water is coming from the top funnel, it's not coming from the spout. Already this water is flowing very fast, this is now four times, so this is four liters and there is all the soil that is coming through. All right, this one is about to fill up, not quite, but it's, we might as well empty it. So that's basically one liter now that's come from the mulch tray. And four liters have come from that tray. And this one has got about half a liter. Okay. So far nothing is coming from these spouts here at the bottom, but we'll just keep an eye on them. And this one is now five liters. 
and it's running very, very fast at the moment. A lot of water coming down here. In other words, there's virtually no water which is sinking in into this particular tray. Just checking on here to see if there's anything through the spout. So far, nothing. And over here, nothing. Now we have one liter on this side. We now have six liters coming through here. And over here, we have two liters. Okay, if we look carefully over here, we now have something very interesting. We now have water coming from the top as well as from the spout below. So in other words, the water has sunk in and it's now coming, it's gone all the way down the profile and it's now coming out at the bottom here. And so this now is two liters. So we are now sitting at, this is now seven, so this is seven, this is two, and this is two. Seven. I've just poured out number seven. Okay, here the water is still coming from the top. It's still being coming from, it's flowing from the mulch. And this is number three. Yeah, we now have eight, eight liters from this side. And here we now have three liters. Over here, we've got water coming from the bottom and the, and the top, bottom and the top. Yeah, both of them are clear. Okay, so this is now four. This is now nine, nine liters on this side. And look at the amount of soil that is there, collected in there. This is four. We now have four on this side. Okay, we still have no water coming out through this particular spout. So this is now five from the mulch. This is now nine from this one. And on this side, this is the fifth, uh, fifth container filling up. Okay, that's container number five, which is just filled up. This is now container number 10 on this side. And this is now container number five as well. Okay. We are now getting a bit, a tiny amount of water coming out through here. There it is there. This is now 11 containers on this side. Here we go. We now have water coming through this. And at the moment there's nothing coming out there. Here yeah, we are getting a good flow of water, both from the top and from the bottom. 
At this stage I've lost count, but we're more interested in these spouts here. So we're getting water coming nicely from that spout and also from this spout. And here the water is just going very fast from this point to that point. The water is just getting stronger coming through here. So this is telling us that the green cover and the mulch actually create like a cushion for the water, the, for the rain that's falling and it allows more water to go into the soil than this situation here. Most people don't actually realize that when they plow their soil or they disturb their soil like this with whatever means they use, they are actually creating a situation whereby the soil becomes very hard after the first rains. And then straight after that with the second rain and the third rain, the, the water just flows very quickly off that soil and it's not penetrating into the soil. The reason why we're getting water coming both from the top and the bottom is that the water has penetrated right through the profile in the green plant material tray as well as in the mulch tray. And the reason why we got it coming out first in the green tray is because there, there's a whole mat of roots uh, in this particular tray and therefore the water doesn't flow easily. It just has more time to sink in and to go into the soil. The mulch creates a bit of a barrier and a cushion but it's, it's obviously not as good as a, as, a, as a mat of roots like this. And yes, we get clean water like this because there's no soil going down as, as the water goes down the slope. But it takes a bit longer for the water to actually start sinking in. And at the moment we're getting a lot of water that is actually sinking in. We've now shut off the water. And you can still see there's still a bit of flow of water. Even here, the water is still coming out, especially, and it's coming out quite strongly through the bottom spout. And this is a good system. This is what we want, and this is what we try and create when we, may, when we have mulch. We want the soil to be covered so that water can penetrate into the soil. Also, obviously, the mulch is going to stop water from evaporating from the soil as well. Now it's very clear the amount of soil that was collected from this particular uh, tray. About 300 mils of, of soil that we've collected. And over here we see a very clear rivulet that's been created just in a very very short space of time. It doesn't take long at all to create that amount of erosion. We take off the mulch and if we look at the soil underneath the mulch you notice that there is very little soil disturbance. The soil is smooth compared to this tray over here. There is no disturbance at all. And this is what we are trying to create when we have conservation agriculture with mulch. And this is the type of situation that you get especially uh, in, in the bush, in a healthy bush situation where there's lots of vegetation, where the trees have not been cut and the grass is in place and the roots are in place you make sure that the soil is held intact and the water is not eroded. There was hardly any erosion from this tray at all. And water is flowing into the water table. The water table is getting recharged. Here's evidence that water is all the way down to this level and it's still flowing out uh, at quite strongly. The water has now been shut off for uh, quite a few minutes, almost up to five minutes, and we see that as soon as we shut off the water here, there was a complete stop of flow in this particular tray. Here the water still carried on coming 
from both the top and the bottom and it's still coming out. There's still a trickle at the bottom here and over here we're still getting quite a strong flow of water coming out through the bottom spout. And it's just showing that these two situations are very, very healthy compared to the first one that we have on the right hand side there. So what is the application of all of this? Basically, we're trying to teach everybody that bare soil is like your number one enemy. And usually bare soil happens as a result of activities of man. It's either through aggressive tillage or it's through overgrazing or it's through deforestation or any of those activities that, that are association, associated with man's behavior. And it causes a lot of soil erosion. We can start to reverse the trend by using mulch, uh, especially in our agriculture, whereby we keep crop residues on the land, we do not burn crop residues, we do not remove crop residues, uh, we try not to graze the, the crop residues, we keep them on the ground and we create a situation like this where we help have mulch cover 12 months of the year and we allow that to continue year after year. And this tray over here represents a healthy situation uh, in, in the bush or in the felt or in the forest areas where you have green material, you have lots of roots and everything is intact. And when everything is intact like this with lots of green material, lots of roots, then it can rain as hard and as fast as it wants, but there will hardly be any erosion taking place.